Gillian Keegan, I'm told by younger colleagues who pay attention to such things, she's tipped as a future Prime Minister. And it occurred to me that this intervention on the question of A-levels from a Secretary of State of Education was so tin-eared and cack-handed that she's almost guaranteed to be the next one if uh, if the current direction of traffic is, is to continue. Uh, and, and that's her job, isn't it? What? Imagine you're 17, right? You're just beginning to feel the cold grip of fear about next year's exams. You're putting yourself under pressure. Your parents are probably putting you under pressure, even though they try not to. Your, your school is putting you under a modicum of pressure. You've started developing dreams of university. There's places you'd love to go. The Secretary of State for Education literally comes out and says... Somebody asked me, you know, well, what will people ask you in 10 years' time? They won't ask you anything about your A-level grades in 10 years' time. They'll ask you about other things you've done since then, what you've done in the workplace, what you did at university, and then after a period of time, they don't even ask you what you did at university. It's really stupid, because the A-level grades you got will determine what university you went to. So if they're even asking you about what, what you did at university, the presumption is if you say certain universities, they're going to know what your A-level grades were. Is she really this stupid? All I know about Gillian Keegan is she's the only person from her school who got 10 O-levels in that year. That's literally her claim to fame, I think. She comes from a very uh, different background, much more modest background than almost all of her Conservative cabinet colleagues. But uh, you, you can't help thinking that if I know how many O-levels she's got, then she arrived at the conclusion not long ago that it was quite a big bloody deal.